simple columnar epithelium. Simple columnar epithelium is found through most of the digestive tract, starting in the stomach and going all the way through the anal canal. There it primarily absorbs nutrients or secretes enzymes, mucus with goblet cells, and other substances. We'll also find simple columnar that is ciliated in areas of the bronchi, the uterine tubes, and some parts of the uterus. And in this area, they primarily propel with the use of cilia propel the mucus in a certain direction. This is our first slide. It's an intestinal cross-section using the 4X objective. The 4X objective doesn't show us a lot of detail, but where we're going to look are on the edges of these little cross-sections of villi. So right where I'm putting my pointers. Now in this magnification we can see besides the little layers of simple columnar we can see some other tissues. Here's some smooth muscle and you want to focus away from those and remember you're always going to find epithelial tissues on the edge of something. This space is called a lumen. Now here we have increased our magnification and we're using the 10x objective to look at this tissue and we can see a little bit more. Again here is the lumen and you're going to find the simple columnar on the edges of these villi. All right, and we can see these large blank cells. Those are goblet cells. Goblet cells, and we'll see them better at 40x, secrete mucus. Now here I'm using the 40x objective and we can see a lot of detail here and now what we want to primarily look at, we're going to look at these simple columnar cells, we'll see the nuclei, and these are goblet cells. These large sacs, and they literally fill up with mucus and then burst, and mucus goes out into the lumen, which is this space here, the clear space, and keep everything moist and slick so that food and substances can move through the intestinal tract. This is the second slide we're going to look at, and here we're starting at the 4x objective. This is the lumen, and the simple columnar is along the edges of these villi, and villi are used to increase surface area. You can also see, this is a really good slide for looking at a characteristic of simple columnar that should help you identify it on a test. When you're looking at the nuclei, they form a pretty distinct band. They're all at about the same level within the cell. You can almost see this dark red line at 4x of nuclei. Here I've increased magnification to the 10x objective and we can see the simple columnar cells and we can see these nuclei in a band. This is a villi this large projecting structure. Here is the lumen or the space and so we see all the individual little simple columnar cells. We can also see a few goblet cells mixed in here. Looks like there's one goblet cell that's expelling its mucus. And here is the same slide using the 40x objective. There's the lumen, this space. This is just part of a little villi. We can see nuclei in the cells and we can see a goblet cell. This would be the basement membrane. How do you know that it's a columnar cell? Well, the columnar cells are rectangular in shape roughly. Now when you see them drawn on a picture, they're perfect little rectangles, but in real life they're not. But all that means is in one direction, they're longer than in the other. And so you can see these are kind of, and here's another one, these are very irregularly shaped, but generally they're very long in one direction and very short in another.